Hello, my name is Corinne Gibble and I work for the California Department of Fish and Wildlife Office of Spill Prevention and Response. Our new paper in the Journal of Wildlife Diseases examines a large mortality event for common MERS on the coast of California in 2015. Although starvation was likely the ultimate cause of death during this die-off event, oceanographic conditions and harmful algae also appear to have contributed. We hypothesize that limited prey availability potentially caused by an oceanographic anomaly was likely the primary driver of this mortality event with harmful algal blooms as a secondary in effect. In summer of 2015, beach survey groups that monitor the coast between Mendocino and Ventura counties noticed an increase in deposition of common MERS on central and northern California beaches. At the same time, coastal wildlife rehabilitation centers like International Bird Rescue received more than 1,000 live, stranded, and debilitated MERS from Sonoma County to San Luis Obispo County during August through October in 2015. Birds that came into rehabilitation were generally underweight, deplete in fat stores, and many were euthanized due to extreme emaciation and poor feather condition. Birds collected from beachcombers and beach watch and birds that died in care at International Bird Rescue were systematically necropsied at our facility in Santa Cruz and at the USGS National Wildlife Health Center in Madison, Wisconsin. All necropsied birds were emaciated and fluid found in the lungs and trachea suggested that many birds had drowned. All other diagnostic tests were insignificant or negative. Beginning in 2014, a warm water anomaly began and extended into the California current. This anomaly persisted into 2015 and was halted by spring upwelling, which brought cold waters to the surface and created ideal conditions for Pseudonychia, which produces a powerful neurotoxin called domoic acid. This bloom was considered to be the largest, most prolonged, and in some areas, the most toxic and harmful algal bloom event on record. Because of this ongoing bloom and the fact that some birds in rehabilitation were showing neurologic symptoms, the birds we examined in necropsy were also tested for domoic acid toxicity at the University of California Santa Cruz via LCMS. 83% of the tested birds had detectable levels of domoic acid in their bodies. To find out more details about this event and read our paper, please go to the Journal of Wildlife Diseases homepage.